Augmented and virtual reality have been around for quite some time, but with Apple's latest investment into the realm with the Vision Pros, there seems to be quite a bit of attention there, especially within design. There's no doubt that the technology within this realm will only continue to expand, and along with that, the job market and interest for designers in that space. So it had me thinking, what does it take to design for AR and VR experiences, and what does it look like? Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Mark and I'm a self-taught UX designer with a background in neuro and psych and I love creativity and forming a community on here. In this video, I wanna address some popular questions that I've seen in the community such as, what is VR slash AR UX design? What does it look like? How do I get started? And what should I look into? Designing for AR slash VR is completely different than normal product or UX design, and it takes a lot of time commitments. Just keep in mind that this video is not gonna get into the nitty gritty of what AR slash VR design is. We're just gonna kinda keep it broad and address some of those questions. So let's begin by addressing the first question. What even is VR slash AR UX design? Imagine virtual reality as stepping into a completely different digital world, such as being inside your favorite video game or something like that. Whereas augmented reality is more like adding digital elements into your real world. So say you want to buy some furniture, but you want to see it in your living room before you buy it. Now UX design is all about creating a smooth and enjoyable experience when interacting with any digital product. So when it comes to VR slash AR design, it's really just taking those principles and putting them into immersive reality. Now let's try to understand this a little bit more with the Apple Vision Pros. Apple's operating system for the Vision Pros is called Vision OS. Just think of it as the brain of the whole system. It's a completely new operating system that's designed specifically for mixed realities. Unlike any other phone or computer operating system, Vision OS is not limited to any flat screens. Instead, it lets you interact with digital content in a three-dimensional space right in front of your eyes. But you probably already knew that. Now Vision OS is actually built on two key elements, that is objects and areas. Objects are like digital building blocks. They're anything that you can react with. So apps, games, and even digital objects. Areas, on the other hand, define where these objects are displayed. They can be fixed like a movie screen, or dynamic and follow you around as you move. But what really sets Vision OS apart are the different immersion levels that you can set. You can choose between the mixed reality where digital objects are integrated into your real world, or you can fully immerse yourself into a completely different digital world. Then there's even a progressive mode that allows you to seamlessly transfer between those two states. This flexibility gives designers and developers a whole new way of creating engaging user experiences. And it also allows you to personalize how you interact with these spaces. So what does it look like to design for an AR slash VR experience? It's very, very similar to designing any type of user experience. You'll have to use the same tools and the same principles you've used before, along with a few additional things that you'll have to learn along the way. Just like any other design fields, understanding the user is crucial. So we need to understand their needs, their goals, and the challenges that they face when experiencing VR slash AR worlds. This helps us create a smooth and intuitive user experience. Comfort is really important in AR slash VR, so we really need to be mindful of the user's field of view, which is the limited area of which they can see images very clearly. Placing important information within this natural field of view is really helpful to reduce eye strain and neck fatigue. Physical comfort is also really important. We want to avoid excessive head movements, sudden changes in perspective, and awkward hand gestures. Instead, we smooth animations, support indirect hand gestures such as pointing or grabbing, and design you user experiences that are easily accessible within the virtual space. Keep in mind that traditional flat surfaces don't really translate well into AR slash VR, so we need to keep in mind a few things, one of those being spatial awareness. Spatial awareness highlights the importance of designing for depth perception and interactions within a 3D environment. Since users can see depth in AR slash VR experiences, we can't just lay out flat information like on a phone or computer. Instead, we layer things such as images and buttons, and we play with the distance a bit so that that they feel like it's existing in a virtual reality. This way it feels more natural when you reach out and grab an object just as you normally would in the real world. Another thing to keep in mind is intuitive gestures. Since touchscreens are absent in AR slash VR experiences, we rely on gestures for interactions. These gestures should be natural and easy to learn, and you should try to mimic real world movement as often as possible. This obviously really only applies to virtual experiences that don't have like a remote or controller such as the MetaQuest. It's important to remember that while core UX design principles remain constant, applying them to 3D interactions is a completely different ballgame. Because VR slash AR is just so different than using a phone or computer, 
regular design methods just don't work as well. I mean, that's why we need specialists that know how to design specifically for VR slash AR experiences. So how do you get started? Do you need any prior experience in this whole space? And my answer to that is no, literally none at all. There's no prior experience required. You can just start Googling different online resources for you to learn from. So online courses, some communities, and just any tutorials or articles that you can find. My only recommendation is starting small and experimenting as much as you can as you go. The only reason I say that is because that's what I'm doing. All right, so let's talk about our last question. What should I look into to get into this space? Since VR slash AR involves 3D objects, understanding how to create and design 3D objects and spaces will really help you in the long run. You can do this by learning Blender or I've been trying out Spline recently. Just like any good design, you will need to know how to conduct research and trust me, you will be doing so much research with this new field because it's completely necessary. So make sure you're diving in there, practicing your research skills, and just learning how to do that in specific relation to VR slash AR experiences. I would also recommend getting a headset like the MetaQuest or maybe even the Vision Pros and just experimenting on how these worlds are built. So maybe try looking into the software that they use, such as Unity. Some tools that I'd recommend looking into, some of which I've already mentioned, are for one, Unity. This is a popular game engine that also offers powerful tools for creating AR slash VR experiences. Some other ones are Blender and Spline. These are just very popular 3D modeling softwares that can help you input 3D objects into these different virtual slash augmented realities. Like I said earlier, definitely invest into a headset. You want to be familiar with how these virtual spaces work and you know, you can invest in something cheaper like the MetaQuest. And lastly, there's something called Shapes XR, which is a newer platform specifically designed for creating user interfaces for VR environments. It really helps because it allows designers to create intuitive and interactive menus and buttons. So definitely check those tools out. I would also recommend taking a look at these two different YouTubers. One person's name is Abnux. I'm gonna link his channel up here. And then an entire page that I would recommend is someone named Daniel Marquise. His whole YouTube channel is about designing for virtual slash AR experiences. So definitely give him a look. You should also check out Apple's website because they offer amazing resources such as the human interface guidelines in developer documentation that are specifically dedicated to Vision OS. So anyways, looking ahead, there are definitely going to be some crazy challenges and opportunities when designing for these virtual such augmented realities, especially when it comes to the Vision Pros. We'll need to solve so many things such as smoothly blending the real and virtual world, keeping users comfortable, and even privacy concerns. But these challenges also open the doors for amazing opportunities. Just imagine the different ways that we can consume entertainment, learn, and just really involve ourselves in these immersive realities. Plus the job market for AR slash VR UX designers is likely to increase. So that's just a plus for looking into this area. With all that said, the future for this space is bright and I can't wait to see what people make. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. Once again, I will see you in the next video. Bye.